Hi, everybody. Greetings of the season. I'm Peter Clausey with Investor Intel. Very happy today to be checking in with my old friend, Devrin Dawa, whose name is synonymous with the Athabasca Basin. If you're talking uranium, you go to the source, which is Dev. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Peter? Doing pretty well. So far, I'm having a good week. Um, <laughs> I'm, a, I, I'm a uranium bull. I'm long in some, bless you, I'm long some uranium things. Um, what's, what's going on in the uranium market today? Well, we certainly had a bit of a, you know, a sell-off. Everything went crazy about a month ago, and a lot of stocks are off, you know, 25, 30% uh, because of the spot price. But, but I would say that, you know, it's a sign of a good base being built. If you look at it technically, so those who are technical bulls can look at that. The, I guess the biggest thing that happened recently was uh, Sprott, uh, Mr. Groskoff, decided to triple the size That's of the right. money allowed to take in through yep. spot so that is monstrous because really you know we don't have this market just to put it bluntly if peter groskoff isn't forward thinking enough to tap into this massive change in this whole um uh shift amongst the greenies and governments who have come to accept that there's no way we can reach their lofty es goals um, without, without having, uranium. yeah, yeah, without agree, they they call them now transitional metals. If we're going to transition from to, uh, from where we are today, carbon based to zero emissions, these transitional metals like lithium and uranium, we've Cobalt, got to have all the rare earths, more copper, that, more nickel. Absolutely, you can't, you can't. Um, so the the focus in London, what I've heard was. That's what it is. Now, you, you sorry, know, just for, for the listeners, you just got back from London, right? With investors. Yeah, I went out there. There was a Mines and Money, which has always been a good place. London was the first place we got our first people actually wanted to talk about uranium back in 2004 and five. And so, as a result, we, um, I mean, it's was, it was fascinating to listen to people. Plus, I got to meet with the CEO of Yellow Cake and people like that. Um, Groskopf has definitely tapped into this massive shift, you know, so every day you see little news out there, you know, Warren Buffett and Gates are building a, a, hey, a small this, yeah. this I want to talk about this. Is, to me, this is more important than the trust. Talk about yeah. what's happening in Wyoming. Well, Wyoming has always been friendly, obviously, to uranium mining. And um, but Gates and Buffett uh, backing a four point four billion dollar uranium build and SMR because the big ones are 22 billion. This is a smaller one. Um, you're seeing small ones being, it's the first one being built. They chose Wyoming, which is an excellent choice. Um, by the way, the Russians have got two small nuclear plants yeah, on up, up, up north, They're right up in the frigid north, powering some uh, cities. It's like what, 10,000, 20,000 people. A lot. And so they're realizing there's just no other way that you can move it, right? And um, it's easy to move the yellow cake. It's easy to move these reactors. So, and, and this is that, the same technology that's in the nuclear subs. Exactly. I mean, if you can figure out how to, you know, have a nuclear sub, I think you can figure out how to take that nuclear and light up a few cities. In fact, there was an announcement yesterday in China. There's a city now that's got no coal, strictly nuclear. They're heating up the water, and it's wonderful. It, it was in the, on a LinkedIn article by Felix Wang from CGN. So I see you're seeing these things. So when you start to see this happening, Peter, uh, the fund manager is saying, okay, how do we get be a part of this, right? So that's where Groskopf is benefiting from. So one thing also I learned from um, the CEO of Yellow Cake is that uh, there could be a massive uh, move in uranium next year because there was a lot of people actually buying uranium as an investment when it's in the twenties as, as carry trade because right. money is so cheap, right? Well, they've been, they're the ones that actually been selling a lot of it. So that a lot of the buying that Peter Groskopf has done has been from them. So that uranium people, a bunch of utilities thought were coming. It's not. So he felt that every year moving forward, that was before the three, three billion, the three times all the billion was announced. He believes that between yellow cake and then they can suck up between 30 to 40 million pounds a year. What's okay. annual production globally? It's only 140, 150. And we take basically a quarter of that. So 
what the thing is we've always had people dumping back in so another positive one is obviously japan you know they've been selling uranium they won't admit it publicly but they have been because they had so much of it so many nuclear plants sitting there doing nothing and but they realize if you're using lng your emissions are going up even in canada despite all efforts and all the taxes to death our emissions are going up it's simple hydro wind and the sun are not enough for base load power because we keep using population growth is one the the growth of cryptocurrencies is second ev vehicles you can't tell everybody we're going to electrify everything and then say oh where does the energy come from right yeah you're going to use coal so how do, how do you why would you use coal to get your electric car going yeah. that's what i think the politicians have finally woke up and said, okay, it's time to wake up. So uh, for a long time, you have to understand the coal lobby has done a wonderful job of, you know, pooping on the uranium industry. It's too dangerous. It's too that and this and that. And they're the ones backing a lot of this, just like you see in Canada, you know, foreign entities coming into Canada to shut down Alberta's oil. You see that happen also in uranium. Yep. And so people think it's real groups protesting absolute lie it's the coal lobby for a long time that has been pooping on the uranium industry so people just stick with coal and now let's get to your upsized financing because a company that is well poised to benefit from this is fuu which my standard joke it's not an insult it's your trading symbol yeah. uh fission 3.0 you are synonymous with the athabasca base and haven't been up there for so long and successfully and you're back again your yes. financing was announced. There was so much demand, you had to upsize it. Tell us about that. Yeah, we, um, you know, we, you know, you never know when you start out. But we went to London, and there was a super smart group of guys led by a guy named Nick Lawson. They're always smart when they want to invest in you, right? No, <laughs> this guy. And when you look at their history, you know, they, they, were, he, he actually was a Deutsche Bank, and he took Yellow Cake public. Okay. So. He's been a uranium bull for years, right? Um, and they're, you know, they're he's just a super gr smart group of guys, professional as hell. Um, and we went and met some of his friends, basically. And most of them are his close friends, which shocked me. They play cricket and all this stuff. But they said, hey, they want to put some money in. We had a common director who had done well with them, Steve Cochran and uh, uh, Lithium Chili. And so he had raised done well with them. So he says, you should meet them, Dad. I was going over there anyways to go to the mines and money. So we met them. They set up a bunch of meetings for us. Uh, and they've been fabulous. So we started, we thought, you know, raise three to five. Who knows, right? Yep. But when I got a hold of uh, uh, some folks in Toronto at Red Cloud, they said, okay, I think we can help here. So next thing you know, upsize, you know, upsize pretty quickly. Um you know, because the stock's trading well, even today, it's up a cent versus everybody else is down. Um, you right. know, people mundane, mundane questions. What's yeah. the stock? What's the financing at? It's it's a combination of flow through and soft. So the uh, it's twenty one cents, twenty three cents, and the warrants are twenty six and twenty eight. It's on. It's in the news release. Um, okay. You know, and that's again they committed to that when the stock was. 20 cents, 19 and a half cents Monday morning was everything got hit hard. Um, so we stuck with 21. So it went up. I didn't, you know, yeah. uh, move the price up. But um, the key is that we've always been asset rich. We are, we are, we've got, I think the best people in the industry, because I can argue that simply by the, the truth that nobody else has found two deposits before two different type deposits, mm -hmm. unconfirmed deposit basement hosted. They've done it. The same team. There's a group of 12 people. And they're very bright and they're loyal. Ross and Ray have done a super job over the years. Yep. Um, and so we've got a very good team who knew how to buy assets um, in the right places. And But we never had much money to work with. Now suddenly, you know, we will have $9 million in flow through next year, plus another $3 million or so from our joint venture partners. Right. So you're going to see 10 to $12 million of drilling done next year. And drilling, drilling. And that's exciting because, you know, we're very close, we believe, on a major discovery on, on Patterson Lake North, PLN. Um, 
and we have excellent reasons to chase boulders up in Hardy Bay. Yep. Uh, we got some, some great stuff. And so we're going to be able to drill on um, three different properties each season. We're going to be able to drill three coming up in starting January and then come this summer. Fantastic. FUU, Fission 3.0. Dev Rendell was synonymous with the Athabasca Basin. If you're an uranium investor, follow Dev. I'm Peter Clausey with Investor Intel. I thank you all for your time. I wish you a safe, prosperous, and what's the other word I'm looking for? Accepting holidays. Let's be good to yeah. each other. Be kind. <laughs>